Did you know that Canadians are among the highest per capita producers of climate changing carbon emissions in the world? Per person, we release more than three times the world average. Our high consumption of fossil fuels is because of the large vehicles we drive and the distance we drive them, poor public transit, large houses, high material consumption, travel, cold climate, and our resource intensive economy. The Kyoto Accord covered greenhouse gas emissions from 1990 to 2012. Of the 58 signatories, Canada posted the second worst record, with emissions actually increasing by 21% instead of being reduced by 6%. The fact that Canada came in 27% over its target speaks to the complete lack of science and clear national policy to guide GHG, or greenhouse gas, reduction in this country. The common consensus of what caused this massive overshoot is that the oil sands are to blame. Oil sands emissions have increased dramatically and perfectly fit with the profile of a well-rounded environmental disaster, so it's easy to understand why people will look no further for any other source. But oil sands emissions only account for 70 megatons of the 156 megatons that Canada's emissions went up from 1990 to 2012. Additionally, Ontario saw a reduction of 30 megatons by replacing coal-fired electrical generators with natural gas generators. So, in effect, the combined increases in GHG emissions totaled 186 megatons. Subtracting the oil sands contributions leaves 116 megatons unaccounted for. So what are these mystery emissions? Governments don't mention them or account for them in their forecasts. Media corporations won't mention them by name. Here's the thing. Each year, every Canadian emits over 20 tons of GHGs. From 1990 to 2012, Canada's population increased by over 6 million people, the vast majority of which was caused by mass immigration. The increase of 6 million people multiplied by their 20-ton emissions equals 120 megatons and accounts very well for the 116 megatons of mystery emissions. The main source of Canada's dismal carbon emissions record is clear. The mystery emissions result from population growth due to immigration and childbirth. Mass immigration is the largest contributor to our growth and GHG emissions. The real mystery is why no government agency or media is talking about it. Canada cannot continue to miss its GHG emissions targets and remain in the dark as to why. We must have a full accounting of all sources if we're to have a realistic chance of meeting our responsibilities to the international community and to future generations. Our institutions must stop stonewalling on the impacts of population growth, whether it stems from mass immigration or domestic birth rates. If we don't have the full picture, how can we deliver lasting solutions?